This week on Vodafone Healthline, our doctors talk about childhood cancer. In the field, we meet Melissa, who has a big task ahead of her. And welcome to your favorite health program, Vodafone Healthline. As usual, your doctors are here to respond to all your health concerns and provide you with some extra tips on how to keep you and your family safe and well. I'm Lorraine, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Papani. Hello, I'm Ruth. And I'm Bright. We take a question on health calm. Hello, I'm Mary. I find it difficult to sleep at night, and I stay in bed for a long time before I sleep, and this is affecting my work. Please, how can you help me? Well, Mary, uh, I'm really sorry to hear about what you're talking about, but the problem you're having is something called insomnia. Okay, now normally, we have a normal body cycle. You wake up in the morning, you have a lot of energy, you do what you have to do throughout the day. It's time for you to go to sleep. It shouldn't take you that long. It should take you less than 30 minutes to be able to go to sleep. In the case of insomnia, what you have is a disorder that makes it difficult for you to sleep or difficult for you to continue sleeping. What exactly causes some of these things? Well, for starters, you might be stressed. Also, if you have certain medical conditions, if you eat late, you like to drink a lot at night, these things actually inhibit your ability to sleep on time and sleep early. When it comes to insomnia, whether or not you treat it depends on the type. It could just be primary, meaning that you just can't sleep. There's no problem, you're not depressed, you don't have any medical problem, but you just can't sleep. That is primary insomnia. Then secondary is if it's because of some other thing. Then it could be acute or chronic, meaning that, oh, it's just been for the, I usually am able to sleep well, but over the past few days, I've realized I can't sleep very well. Or you could have chronic insomnia who, there are people who, oh, for the past 10 years, I just can't sleep. That is chronic insomnia. So as to whether you'll be treated will be depending on what is causing it. Worst case scenario, if you've tried everything and it's not working, we have sleep therapists who would, you know, institute some regimes. And at the end of the spectrum, when all has failed, that is when we may resort to low doses of certain medications. But that is not for you to walk in and take. Um, a registered practitioner would use his or her discretion to do this for you. So don't take matters into your own hands and then pop into the, the, the shop. Just try some of these and I really hope you have sweet dreams. Learn basic first aid techniques with iRed. No, I'm not a doctor, but with first aid, I can help. First aid for unconsciousness. This may be caused by a blow to the head or chest, a drug overdose, severe blood loss, or alcohol poisoning. My friend here had a blow to the head. Check for any danger to you or the patient and make the area safe. Now follow these five steps. Response. Check for response by asking a simple question and grasp or squeeze the shoulders. Send for help. Call for an ambulance or send someone else to call. Airway. Open the airway by tilting the head back and lifting the chin. Breathing. Check for normal breathing, CPR, and perform chest compressions and breaths. Hmm? So you see, it's not really rocket science now, is it? Vodafone. Power to you. Her mother says that she was born to live. And indeed, she was. You'll understand in the moment when you learn of the battles five-year-old Melissa has had to fight in her short life. Melissa is five years old. Well, Melissa is a very funny girl. She's very brilliant. And I think 
that's one of the reasons why almost everybody at Kolebu, the child ward, from the doctors to everybody, loves her because she's very smart. Me wo no no. Anu so awo horse ni o yesikusia. In her fourth year, she got sick. Osi ni 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 joints ye ni ye onya crisis ni joints ye ni yani nai. Me ni ni ko yo me man ni dro. Ena ye be fi. Unga mushi enda se se yo kona enjoy ya na yen sambra. Ye ba yen enjoy ni ye san ko ye. Until you call and were home and nine started to say, Eh, Hun. As she shared to say, I share in so she a goon in nine or so. Eh, a woho, a woman before say, Be a be be a big boy, be pie. And I am marquee in nine. And I start, I see, and start to say, Eh, black. Melissa presented to us in severe pain in both legs. And both legs were turning black. That means that blood supply to her legs was getting compromised. The foot was black and very hard, which uh, we as parents, we don't understand. We did some scans that show that the big arteries that are the blood vessels feeding the legs were blocked. So we gave her some blood thinning agents, but that wasn't enough to stop the legs going completely gangrene. All of a sudden, there's a cut, and you can see the leg is totally, the left one, divided into two, which you could see the bones. I know I'm going to to try and see the I'm going to try to It wasn't easy. There's more child. We didn't challenge anybody because they are doing their medical work to get the small girl well, but we couldn't find it easy. Early this year, uh, we agree that she has to be taken to SAG to cut. After intensive counseling, we had to take off both Melissa's legs. Do you have any pain in your legs? Not at all. See? So we did a double below knee amputation for Melissa. Once a while, she just sat down and get quiet and started crying. And if you ask her, she will tell you she needs legs to walk. And you just have to carry her and comfort her. Man, we should say we be able to by this age. The parents, understandably, were very distraught, thinking that um, that was the end of her fruitful and productive life. But again, we told them that um, it was possible to have some rehabilitation done, and eventually, I think they all um, recovered and are looking forward to a bright future for Melissa. Vodafone agreed to get Melissa the help she so desperately needs. Melissa has a future. Because to take off somebody's leg, that's not the end of his or her life. I am going to say, 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 
We are ever ready, the little that we have, both financial and physical, to help her achieve her goals in future. I think young children have very good coping mechanisms. They can learn new skills very easily. So as a young child, I think that she should be able to recover very well. Vodafone would like to thank the staff at the Orthopedic Training Center and Kolebu Teaching Hospital for all they have done for Melissa and her family. Melissa is here with her parents, Cynthia and Israel. Auntie Cynthia, Kata Israel, the beautiful little Melissa Akwaba. Thank, Thank you. you. Melissa, tell your thing. Oh, Jokba, isn't that cute? I want to be more Jipwa because she would have for me, but I want to be more than I want to be. Because Jay Mofemo, Jay Monifio, and I'm back in my. Sanya G, Vodafone, what can you get? Beno, she would have only a can be New York, Beno. What book on a cry, a war, a may a nook of fuel near my care in care when you're day. Can ha Melissa, can ha a noni mini bachom or cata beni a baye me. A war on the Vodafone be a sin. I met you look a book. I may a making a care. Melissa, you you are John Fen. Ni, ni, John Nana. Can you not feel no papa na feel? You are our mafia mo you are ni. You are John Fen. Amen. We will follow Melissa's progress and let you know how her story develops in the future. Thank you all for watching and supporting us. See you all again next week and goodbye. Vodafone will continue to support this program. If you have been moved by the stories or issues you've seen on Healthline, you can donate one Ghana CD by texting GIVE to 133. Or you can donate by sending your contribution via Vodafone Cash to 835-000. Next week on Vodafone Healthline, our doctors talk about autism. In the field, we meet Majid, who is still feeling the effects of a shooting injury that occurred when he was a small child. Phone. Power to you.